Yo, what's going on boys? I'm gonna be playing this new Magic Retro Expo deck on ladder. I'll try to get to like top 50, so it's gonna hop right in. If you enjoy the video, please make sure to like and sub. See you. Okay, got a match. I think I faced this guy in my last video, so I think I know what deck he's playing. Also, speaking of last video, I apologize for making a joke about a sensitive topic like that. Some of you guys didn't like the joke, so yeah, that was pretty immature on my end. Once again, I apologize for it. Gonna ice golem in the back here. I think he has giant skelly hog and um firecracker. No queen, so it should be easier to beat. Gonna magic archer here. He's just kind of not playing any cards. Okay, I think he lagged out. Maybe or maybe not. He's just kind of waiting. All right, goes for earth earthquake and uh log to kill my magic archer. So I'm gonna axe ball opposite and cannon. Um, he can't punish me right now because I just got axe ball cannon here. He just played an earthquake, so plays a giant skelly. I can ice golem here to stall it out on the other side so I don't take a bomb. I'm gonna log it to make sure it doesn't um, come to my tower. Okay, well, gonna log it there because if I did, I would have taken a hog hit. So, I'm gonna nato the hog to king and just let the bomb do the damage on the expo. I get some damage, but I would have gotten like way more if I logged it. But I also would have taken some damage if I did. So, I don't know. Maybe it was worth it to log it. I'll try to be careful from now on though, but um, if I just go in again, I feel like he's got a cannon and then try to play earthquake on it. So, I'll try to go in again. But I'm going to Magic Archer in the back to bait out like an Earthquake though. Because he played an Earthquake and a Log on it last time. He already suckled a Log now, so he's not going to be able to full counter it. But he could try to go for like an Earthquake and then try to get back to a Log to kill it. If he does that, I'll go opposite lane. I feel like I have no option but to go opposite lane. Alright, plays a Cannon. So that was a pretty good Expo defense, not going to lie. I have to Ice Golem on defense here. Um, played Ice Spirit in front of that Firecracker. So I had to play Ice Golem to body block it, but... Also gonna fire spirit to force something out. He's back to hog for sure. All right, thought he was about to hog opposite lane, but he didn't. So I'm gonna expo like this. And uh, all right, goes for giant skelly. So I'm gonna magic archer. All right, that's gonna hit the tower for like two shots, I think. All right, got three, not bad. Got an extra shot. Um, see what he does here. Skelly's over here. If he goes hog, I have to cannon low. I can't like cannon on the entire earthquake spot because um, there's a giant skelly on the field. So I'll just cannon in the middle and then try to nato the hawk to my king, even though I already activated king. Cycle my fire spirit. All right, let's go for ice spirit. So I'm gonna log. Um, gonna magic archer in the back on the right side. Can't play it in the back on the left. He gets a free earthquake every time I do that. So definitely not gonna let him have that. Probably gonna earthquake. So I'm gonna put it on the anti-earthquake spot and push it into my cannon. Nice. Um, I'm gonna log nato the firecracker just because she's kind of annoying. Uh, that means I gotta get back to a second cannon for the hog because I played a nato on offense, so um, I can't nato the hog to my king anymore. Not anytime soon though, but I'll be back to it in like what two cards? Like one card now, say so yeah, I'm fine. Gonna log here and uh, bridge block so the hog goes in front. Also gonna do this to push it to my cannon, not bad. Um, I have two magic archers on the field. Alright, I got the. Oh my god, that was such a lucky nato. Okay, um, I hit the firecracker too, and the firecracker actually did not get a shot off my, um, on my magic archer is what I meant to say. Uh, cannon high here on the anti-earthquake spot. If he does go in, I'll try to push it in with a ice golem, but I just want to go in here because he cycled, uh, what do you call it? Giant skelly on the other side. Okay, so he's got to play defensive hog low. That's not bad. Not bad at all. It's actually really good. Alright, let's go for a log on my magic archer. I think he's trying to nato or what do you call it? Earthquake it, but um, I feel like he's not going to be able to because if he does, I go expo here and I win the game. He might also try to get back to like a second log, which is not a bad play. I'm going to wait till that cannon dies and then snipe the giant skelly on the tower. I'm going to nato it back to, to get a lot of damage. Nice, that was actually so much damage. I'm gonna have to wait a bit longer to play my cannon here. Don't want to let it die completely to the earthquake. All right, it took like one hog hit, I think. No, I didn't. What am I talking about? Yeah, I definitely didn't take a hit. I full countered it, but um, took some earthquake damage. So gotta watch out. Gonna kite it opposite lane so it's easier for me to pull that to my king. Uh, gonna pull it right now. I was about to log it, but I gotta fire spare first and then log it now. Um, second magic archer on the field. Also going to cannon high and uh, ice golem high. Try to get back to a third. I'm back to a third and he did not earthquake my magic archers. So might be back to a fourth here. Not that it really matters, but I just want to have four magic archers on the field. This is pretty funny. Look at this. Oh my god. 
Log over here, also gonna NATO the giant skelly closer. All right, that should be game now. Two magic archers are locking on it, so. Yep, pretty easy game. Um, I wanna say magic archer NATO kind of boosted that game. Okay, got a match. That's a nice banner, not gonna lie. I like that banner. Anyways, I'm gonna cycle my fire spirit uh, for something out, hopefully. If not, I'll just play Ice Golem in the back. All right, let's go for bandits. So I'm gonna cycle my marcher in the back. Could be like P.E.K.K.A. bridge spam, could also be normal bridge spam, I'm not really too sure, but some sort of bridge spam deck. Could also be Mega Knight, I've seen a lot of Mega Knight Queen decks, but this is definitely going to be P.E.K.K.A. here, I think. I'm going to cycle my Ice Golem in the back, alright, not anymore, perfect. Um, played a Ghost, so I had to play into the Ghost to keep my Marcher alive. Also going to try to get back to my Log, which I am, so they should cancel each other out, maybe mine lives, never mind. Um, yeah, they cancelled each other out, but I got some damage here because I got a fire spirit and like two logs on this tower, so. Skelly's over here to pull it in the middle. I skull him down low. Could have NATO did to activate King, but I'll save the NATO for the ghost. When he gets back to like a second ghost, I'm gonna NATO it to my King. Because I won't be back to like a high skull him by then, so. See what he does here though. Get a magic creature in the back. Wait, can I just go in here? Yeah, I feel like I can go in and then, um, kill his E-barbs on max, but... Unless he leaks and then um, plays E-Barbs on my Marcher. Okay, I think I lost. Yeah, I didn't really think ahead. Yeah, that was kind of a bad expo now that I think about it. Because he's going to be able to do that. Also going to need of this back. But it doesn't really make a difference. Because I got an Ice Golem here anyway. So, just go for a Ram. I think he's going to follow up with like a Bandit. So, yeah, I think I already choked the game. Unfortunate. Wait. Wait, he zapped. He didn't Bandit, so... Alright, I'm fine. I mean, I got some damage there, but I took a lot too. I feel like I'm fine though. As long as I don't lose my tower here, I should be able to come back from like any position in this game. So, it's gonna magic archer in the back once I'm at 10. Unless he goes for something and I have to defend with a cannon. But if not, I'm gonna magic archer in the back. Actually, why don't I just expo? Yeah, to bait out like E barbs. Just go for E barbs. I'm gonna log to predict uh, heal spirit. Nice, I got it. Magic archer on defense. Gonna let it slide for now. Gonna Ice Golem on defense here. Not let the bandit dash onto it. Cause, um, no point. Gonna Expo again. Actually, now nah, I'm not going to. He played a Ghost. So, like, he'd be one off, um, E Barbs. And he would just try to get back to it by playing, like, a Ram or something on the opposite side. And, uh, yeah, my Magic Archer and the Expo would both die. So, NATO over here. That should kind of line up with the Magic Archer, I hope, right? Nice. Alright, it does. My magic archer kind of lined up with um, his magic archer, so mine killed his first. Kind of defensive axe, but now because I feel like I need one. Kind of having a hard time defending, so it's definitely going to help me out on defense here. Uh, oh god, okay, I got to log the right side here. He played a heal spirit into it, so I had to. Fire spirit over here. I'm going to take some damage on the right side, also the left. Alright, I'm taking a lot of damage on both lanes. Definitely not a good sign here, but... I'm gonna try to defend the best I can. I'm gonna log over here and um, Skelly's on the queen. I'm gonna activate king now though. Yeah, I'm gonna need it like this. That should activate king. The defense is actually gonna be a lot easier now that I actually um, activated king. Let's go for a ram. So I'm gonna magic archer in the back and then try to play cannon high on the other side so that it also pulls like the ghost and uh, ram. Ice golem low. Gotta need all these. So that the ice golem pulls everything. Log over here, fire spirit to kill the magic archer. Didn't splash onto it. Unfortunate. Gonna ice golem high. Oh god, okay. I'm taking a lot of damage right now. Um, I thought I played the defense good, but messed up an ice golem at the end and uh, took a magic archer hit. So definitely not good. Cannon on defense here. I could have logged that to not let it lock onto my cannon, but there's no point really. Because I'm not trying to save my cannon. I'm trying to save my axe at this point, so... Back to a second expo, definitely gonna go in here, but I also need an ice golem to block the the e barbs on it. Yep, there they are. Gonna cannon here to DPS them down. So gonna log and uh NATO the queen back, so I get a lot of damage here. Nice. That was some pretty good damage. He had to log or what do you call it? Zap. So I managed to force out like a zap from him. Gonna expo on defense again, because I got a lot of damage and I'm up damage right now, so I can just kinda like focus on defense right now and uh go in later maybe if i have to but i don't think i do i can just like log nato him out now that defense was like really hard and um double and triple not gonna lie but i'm in a really good spot right now though so i'm gonna place a second magic archer down let's go for a bandit i'm gonna nato these to get some hits on the tower with that magic archer 
Nice, I got like two hits. Nice, three, four. Oh my god, that's a lot of hits. I'm gonna try to get back to my native log on that tower. Cannon here, and then try to play log to finish off the game. Uh, is that gonna hit? Nah, alright. Waste of time, but doesn't matter. Won the game. Um, I wanna say that's my matchup, but not by a lot. Probably like slightly my matchup, because the defense was pretty hard, not gonna lie. 26, I'll take it. Let me see where that puts me, though. Should be in the top 100 by now. Um... 64 all right i'll play a few more okay got a match see what he's playing here i'm gonna try to play my magic archer in the back um see what he does all right goes for spare gob so i gotta log it but didn't really want to log there because it could have been log bait looks like log bait though it does go for mighty in the back so i'm gonna march it in the back here if he does go for like a rocket on this i'm gonna x ball opposite try to play ice golem in front for the cannon and then try to play my cannon to i don't know dps it down Goes for Skelly Barrel though, and a Flying Machine. All right, what? Lava Hound maybe? I don't know what deck he's playing. Kind of lost right now, but I'll try to keep my Magic Archer alive. All right, well, that's funny. As soon as I said that, he died. Um, Fire Spirit on the Flying Machine though. I'm not gonna panic and nade the Flying Machine. I can eat the damage for now. It's not really that much, but need to find out what deck he's playing though. Um, does have Wall Breakers. Okay, he's back to Spare Gob, so I'm gonna have to Magic Archer on defense. Also gonna Expo here. Just to uh, see if he's got a rocket or not. Because the deck kind of looks like log baity. Okay, yeah, it does have a rocket. I could try to activate King with that. Actually, yeah, I'm going to. Um, I'm just hoping he doesn't have a barrel. If he does, I can go for like a fire spirit and skellies to full counter it. But I'm just hoping he doesn't though. Because later in the game, I got to save my log for that. And I can't log the wall breakers on max bow. So it's definitely not going to be good if I want to get a log. Mighty in the back. I'm going to fire spirit over here to cycle. So can't really respond to that i don't think yeah because if he played wall breakers into it i wouldn't have to respond to them so just kind of ate the damage i guess it's probably gonna go for flying machine yeah it does go for it so i'm gonna march her like this to snipe it um might try to go for spare gobs on me so i'm gonna do this nice okay caught the spare gobs i'm gonna log uh all right good sequence kept my magic archer alive but i can't really go in with it so gotta let it die for now he also misplaced that i want to say or maybe it wasn't a misplace maybe he meant to play it after the magic archer locked on but um i got damage anyway so it doesn't matter Let's see what he does here yeah let's go for flying machine in the back um gonna magic archer in the back here goes for a mighty in the back too um whoa okay that's 10 elixir so gonna expo on the left he's got like five elixir right now but he might not be able to defend the expo oh he's got recruits okay I did not know he had that card, but I'm gonna log nade of the wall breakers so the expo stays alive for like a bit longer. Need to get all the damage back. I skull on defense here. It does go for spare gobs, so I gotta let them lock on everything and then try to play fire spirit behind them to kill all of them. Okay, miss one of them, but doesn't matter. I'm gonna go marcher in the back on the left here because um, if I do that, he's not gonna be able to rocket it. If he rockets it, I go on the right side, so definitely not a good play by him. Um, cannon in the middle to tank for the flying machine and uh, the skelly barrel. I'm gonna expo on defense here, see what he does. Kinda wanna log, but I'm not going to. Oh, I think he got a really good rocket there, yeah. That was actually a sick rocket on his end, but kinda my fault for giving him like a really good rocket. That um, NATO fire spirit was really good though. Okay, the magic archer also kinda like aligned for um, one hit on the flying machine and the recruits, so not bad. Gonna expo again. I feel like he's back to recruits, but I don't really care. He's not getting any damage anytime soon. Like, he might kill my expo and the magic archer, but he's not getting any damage at all. Uh, gonna nato these to actually get some damage, hopefully. Oh no, okay, bad nato. Those are gonna lock on. Yeah, and he does play spare gobs on it, so he caught up with damage because I played a really horrible nato, but try to go in again, get some damage here. Um, does rocket, but I got like five hits, so took it down to 1280. Skelly's in the middle, and uh, I'm hoping he plays something on the left so I can go Magic Crusher NATO. Getting pretty desperate right now because I took a lot of damage. So he could try to go for, like, I don't know, some chip damage and then two rockets to win the whole game. Not letting him do that, though, obviously, but let's see what he does here, though. Log, Skelly's over here. Also going to Ice Golem on the right side to not take a lot of damage from those. Hopefully my um, magic archer finishes off the flying machines. All right, I gotta play a second one down because my first flying machine died. Uh, also gonna ice golem here. That should die to my new magic archer. Also gonna log on the right side. Might go for wall breakers. So I'm gonna cannon high. 
All right, he actually doesn't. So I'm gonna expo here. Does play a skelly barrel in the back, and he rocketed me. Okay, so I'm back to the second magic archer. I think he pops the ability to go opposite lane to not take a lot of damage here. Never mind. All right, he popped it too late, so magic archer got the whole tower. That game was kind of hard, not gonna lie, because I I didn't know what deck he was playing, but got the win. Okay, got a match facing Eli Williams. This guy's a lot lower than me, so I cannot afford to lose. If I lose, it's probably gonna be like a negative forty-five. So I'll try my best. I'm gonna cycle a marcher in the back. I had plenty of options there, but I just wanted to play a marcher in the back. Let's see what he does here though. It does go for a zap, so it might be a beatdown deck. All right, it does go for Sparky in the back. So I'm gonna axe ball opposite lane here to get some lock, unless he plays a giant into it or like a gob giant. I don't know what deck he's playing. Could be both, but let's see. Hopefully, I don't take any damage on the defense here. If I lose my whole tower, I will not be able to come back from this. So, see what he does here. I'm going to do this to let the Sparky soak up that one hit and then try to skellies and then log over here to keep my cannon alive. He zapped, but he zapped late. So, everything died. Oh my god, that was so clean. Nice. Um, I thought I was going to take like a mini packer hit or like a Sparky hit at least, but took no damage. Not even a zap damage. Oh my god, that was nice. I'm going to go in here just to bait out the Sparky so he can't giant in front of it. Like, I know I'm not getting any damage here, but I just want to bait something out. Like a Sparky, nice. Thought he was about to hoard or something, but he actually played a Sparky, which is really nice. Because now he's not going to be able to giant, so... Going to Magic Archer low, also going to Fire Spirit high to distract it so I don't somehow take a hit. Um, he might go for like a mini Pekka, so I'm going to get my Nato ready. Um, but if not, I feel like he's going to take a lot of damage. All right, does go for giant, but he messed up the timing, so he took like two hits. All right, that was a really weak push, not gonna lie. Um, I'm gonna nato these back here, and uh, yeah, that should be some pretty good defense. I did miss the ice golem splash on like two of the minions, but it doesn't matter. I took no damage anyway, so says good game. I think he knows it too. He's not gonna be able to come back from this, but see if he gave up or not. I don't think he gave up yet though because you know beat down players they don't give up even if they're down like two whole towers they actually keep playing so i'm gonna fire spread on defense for that um skarmy he might try to go for arrow zap on it nice so i'm gonna expo here to bait out like a giant so he can't go giant in the back i'm also gonna cannon into it because why not it's a pretty good cannon nato here to kill the bats ice golem and then um fire spirit over here to finish off the minions one tap them nice all right that was pretty good. The expo might die because I know he's back to arrows, but got some lock there. Nice. Not bad. I'm gonna go in again because every time I go in, I'm getting guaranteed damage. That's just how good of a matchup this is. So, I'm gonna magic archer in the middle. Might try to go for arrow zap, but I'm gonna skellies over here so he can't like zap my um, magic archer. That way, even if he like arrows it, he's not gonna be able to full counter it now. Alright, so I just gotta go for an expo and then try to nato something into the tower to align it. I guess. Uh, or that works. Alright, he just lets my Axe lock on and he's not back to zap. So, yeah, it's pretty easy. Um, about to get like 14 from this. No, I'm not taking that. Please take it back. Alright, I got a game. Got like no trophies from that game. So, gotta win this to be in the top 50. Probably just gonna end the video after this if I win. But if I lose, I'm probably just gonna keep going. Skelly's in the back to cycle. Um, this guy always plays weird decks. All right, looks like he's playing Ejai the oops. I did not mean to uh, shove the Axe Ball all the way up high, but it's okay. Got a lock anyways, and he was about to kill my Axe Ball like that, so... I guess it doesn't matter. I'm gonna get a free activation here with that mini pack. I'm also gonna Ice Golem into the bomber to not take any damage on my tower. All right, so the defense is actually gonna be really easy now because I got the king activation, so... If he's got, like, two E-Giants on the field, I think I can just play cannon in the middle and play something else on it to full counter because my king's going to be helping out so just go for a pump again so I'm going to expo into all of that and uh see what he does here all right does go for a bomber I gotta log this to try to get back to my ice golem and ice golem into the mini packer you might go for bats I'm going to hold on to my fire spirit all right does go for bats I'm going to do that um goes for nato to save the tower not bad I could try to go for like skellies in the back and then um, expo again, but I'm not going to. Because then you could just bomber and uh, mini Pekka. Like, I know he's not going to have enough for E-Giant. Well, he wouldn't have enough for E-Giant. He definitely has enough now, though. But like, if I did that, he would not have enough for E-Giant. But since I didn't, he's definitely going to have enough now. Matter of fact, he's about to mirror it. Yep, there it is. Oh, goodness. All right. Uh, I don't think I can defend this. Like, I know the King Tower is going to help out and everything, but... 
I don't feel confident enough to defend this. Log over here, that was a pretty good log. Ice Golem, Cannon, all right, missed both E-Giant with the Cannon, nice. I'm so good at the game, guys. Nato here, all right, wait, this is actually not bad. I think I keep both of my towers, nice. Okay, wait, that was actually really good. Got his tower down to like 498 and my tower's at 2025 on the left and uh, 3275 on the right. Defensive expert for that, because I'm not trying to get back to a second cannon. Um, honestly, I didn't get back to a second cannon because I thought he was going to mirror the E-Giant, but he played a mini P.E.K.K.A., so he's not going to be able to mirror it. Let's see what he does here, though. Might try to get back to a second E-Giant and just play it into my Marcher. Goes for a pump. Not bad, I guess. Played a Bomber first, so I guess that was pretty smart because now I can't go in, but I feel like he's just stalling out the game at this point. Like, he's not going to be able to come back from this, but he's just pretty much stalling out the game. Um, Ice Golem over here, also going to log. Uh, that should kill it. Oh, he mirrored the Bomber. That was actually really smart. Mirrored the Bomber to kill Max, but Max but locked on the higher level Bomber, so... The almost dead Bomber kind of like killed my whole Expo, too. Cannon high over here to play some defense. I want to go in again, but I'm not going to. It's going to have enough for E-Giant, so... it's going to play some defense here. going to log to cycle could have nato that but it's okay i can just kind of keep playing defense for now i'm gonna log nato cycle this guy just because nato over here to save my cannon so he can't go for like a mirror e giant does go for a mirror e giant on the other side but i'll have a second cannon back for that too so not really worried about the defense here might try to go for a mini pack on top of my um, magic archer yeah just go for it so i'm gonna log ice golem and then cannon here and then skelly's on the Mini Pekka to not let it hit my cannon. Nice, that was some pretty good defense. Plays a E Giant into my marcher, so I'm gonna expo like this and then try to play a second marcher on the field. So I DPS it down pretty fast. Out of context, but that's pretty sick. The marcher shots are making an X on the E Giant. Okay, so I'm gonna play a new cannon on defense here. It does mirror the E Giant on the right side. I'm also gonna log here to kill the bomber. That should hit the bomber for one shot. I skull him on defense here. I'm gonna try to fire spread on defense and try to go back to a second cannon. Do I need it? I don't think I do. Yeah, just gonna march it in the back here um, to play some defense because I know he's about to be spamming a lot of E giants in triple. Do like this. Also gonna I skull him high. He's not really. All right. I think he gave up. He's leaking a lot of elixir right now. So magic archer in the back. Just gonna expo in the middle just in case he wants to go for like a mirror E giant. That way I can pull it out with um a cannon on the right side like the right side corner of the map don't really know how to explain it but 37 that's a lot of trophies all right that should put me in the top 50 43 not bad if you enjoyed the video please make sure to like and sub um this deck is actually really fun to play too so i recommend give it a try just give it a shot